Morning, Malk. How are you doing? Oh, morning, Graham. How are things? I'm good. Yeah, not too bad, thank you, buddy. Not too bad. You're looking at your nice sort of flowers on all the windowsills everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Just looking how identical they are between both of the windows. It's quite strange. Well, that's unusual, isn't it? Mm. Who would have thought so? Who would have thought? Well, welcome... Welcome back to Corpy, everyone, and hopefully you are enjoying the series so far. Hopefully some big changes in today's episode as well. Some big, big expansions planned, haven't we, Mel? We have. Biggest so, one yet. Um, yes, this is going to be a big one, hopefully. Um, as you can see over the, well, over my left-hand side or over Mel's shoulder, you can see that we've uh, got the corn harvest to do, so we're going to have to get some new equipment for that. So I think yep. Mel's first job will be the corn header. I'm going to get the other wheat field turned over because that's been extended at the uh, end of last episode so firstly i'd just like to say thank you everyone for all your comments all your likes and obviously if you are new to the channel please subscribe because it's massively appreciated we really do appreciate is. all the interaction we do we do get um to be perfectly honest we are recording this ahead of time again because of Malk's night shift so we're actually recording this on the monday before it comes out on the friday so yeah we would normally probably have talked about what's been released by giants for fs25 but kind of can't because we don't know yet ourselves no, so no. i'll have to wait to the following video so <laughs> right let's right. get ourselves so, yeah so i'll go um, get this corn header but i'll have to take the combine down because it'll need will. loaded onto a trailer so no easy way of doing that no i'm gonna i'll tell you, i'm gonna use the atar rex to do the liming i think okay um i think it's gonna be the best one to do i can set that going off already and i can get you a trailer I'll use the uni mob for running it around, I think. So we need to do I need to do a few little jobs. Okay. Move out of my way. Go. I weigh more than you. <laughs> mm, is that right? I doubt it. <laughs> uh, tell you what, let's check, shall we? Let's see. Go on then, who's so, heavier? You weigh sixteen point four tons. Wow. You're eighteen. And I weigh eighteen point five. So yes, I am heavier. Jeez. How is that possible? How can a tractor be heavier than a combine? Because it's made of iron, American pig iron. <laughs> that okay. annoys quite a lot of people, isn't it? Um, right. right, I'm going to get this filled up. So you're going to mm. have to make the really slow trip down to the shop, aren't you? Well, yeah, it's it's not bad for a combine. Twenty mile an hour. These are the solid fertilizer. Is this? Okay, they're both solid fertilizer. Must be already full in here then. Um, we did, like we said in the last video, though, we have actually tested um, the 10... Did we say the 10 metre one works fine, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. We were a bit concerned because we are actually using a header that's not from this mod pack, but it seemed to run Ooh. all right. I'll tell you what you haven't noted, what you haven't actually mentioned, Malk. Oh, dear. Off camera, Malk has done some smoothing uh, oh, of this yeah. bridge. Yeah. Now, we decided to do it off camera... Because we know for a fact if we did it on camera and recording, it will go completely and utterly wrong. So <laughs> yeah. we have tested it with the Unimog flat out, and it flies over without any problems whatsoever, doesn't it, Matt? It does. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, do I make the header trailer case colours? Yeah, you could do, yeah. It's quite nice, mm, that. Usually I, I kind of try and do that. Okay. That's smooth. Now, does case have a black? No. No. <clears throat> Just do it like oh, that. That old chestnut again. Right, let's pull in the field a bit more and try again. Good old. Like to generate. There we go. That's kind of going. Oh, okay. Oh, you can't do numbers. Oh, cool. You know what? I'm going to give that a whirl. That looks dangerous. That looks like it's going to go wrong. So, you know what? Enjoy. Let's hope that works. Oh well, that's, that's a great that's a great field. place to put my uh, header. Well, where's that gone? <laughs> it's like right beside the cliff. Oh dear. Really? Yeah. Realism is key, everyone. Realism is key. There we go. Come on, kick in. Oh, okay. right. Let's get back into this to make sure it's actually actually yeah, here. We are sorted. Right. Unimog time. The mog. That's what I say. God, this corn header is massive. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to take you about 13 seconds then, is it? I think so. I hope it snaps oh, the trailer. Nothing... It should do, shouldn't it? Mm. If you get the right trailer on combinations. Yeah, well, I did do that. Uh, I don't know. 
It didn't really move, no, I unless I got it in the right place to start with. Okay. It's on. Well, if, if, it, <laughs> if it falls off down the cliff, you know, down the, down yeah. the hill, you know you've got a problem. Aye. Right. Yeah, Let's um, get back up to the field and make a start on our corn harvest. We do need to do something about this flower, you know. Yeah, well, we need to get a pasta production or something, don't we? Yeah, we need to get that in, but we don't... We need to do what we're doing this time first, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Right. Where it's going I, in. Where am I going to park this? Oh, I can... Hmm. Hmm. We need to you probably a have a bigger area to put equipment to... Well, certainly for the combines and the header trailers. What's for turning? Well, just to hitch up. I'm going to have to do this on Thank the... On the slant here, it's probably not going to work too well. Right, wheat flowers in. Let's take the hundred and. Okay. Oh, nearly. Tell you what, give it another couple of seconds. I might be able to put that. Uh, sorry, I need to unfold right. the tool. Yeah, cause it's it's folded up into. Uh, well. Didn't seem like it was, but you sure it's not just folded up on a, in, on the inside, like on um, I don't know what you call them, but the the row, not the row spaces, but the things that obviously maybe I, I didn't I knives. didn't see an animation for it, but I need to unfold the tool, the harvester. I thought I'd done that. Barley for the chickens, I think. I think the last time we checked off camera, the chickens were pretty yeah, seventy five liters, Mount. We are letting our chickens down. Are we? Yeah. I need to go on to... Uh, so, fold harvester, that's right. What uh, are you doing? Any yeah. any new things, Mount's terrible with, I'm telling you. <laughs> he really is. That's working now. I don't know what was going on there. Right. Let's get into this. Are you going to get cracked on? Yep. Yeah. Right, I'm going to bring you a... Left the course stopped. Good. Right. <laughs> oh, we're having a we're having right. a fun today, aren't we? I mean, course play's already gone wrong. Right. Let's just uh, let's just have a look at these textures as well. So this is the harvested. So this is the extra crops textures we've put in, which looks a lot better than the base game one. Oh my goodness! The eight RX is trying to go in the water. Right. <laughs> what is it? What has it done? I mean. Oh, I don't know. Right, it's, it's, all go. gone, it's all gone wrong today for us. It's all going wrong, I tell you. Yeah. Well, it could have gone. It it didn't really go right last night when we tried to record, did it? It didn't. No. We were all sounded like Daleks. Discord had some audio issues on their end. Yeah. Right. What? You got a trailer there, sir. Oh, I didn't want to harvest that bit. Got... Yeah, he's a he's a lumpy bit. Okay. Wow, I'm filling up fast. I'm filling up fast. Right, okay, so that's done. So what bits isn't done? Okay, so it's done majority of it. I think it's because the headlands. I set it to do two headlands and I probably shouldn't have done. Okay. There's only a little bit left. So you can have the 8RX in a minute, actually, or do you want... Oh, that what do you leave. want for the... Just anything will do, as long as it can pull that trailer. The slimes, most of the bit, apart from around here. Now, the idea up here, this is for my viewers, is we are going to think about potentially putting another road in for our future plans, which is not going to be too long, I don't think. We'll probably get no, that harvest we're... done, won't we? And then we'll probably... Do we think we'll start doing what we were planning to do in this episode and actually well, we'll have buy some more plots of land. We're definitely buying some plots of land. We've just got no more space left, really. No, but also we, we need to buy plots of land to, to take the series on a bit more, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do, yeah. Because we need to... We want to move the farm. That's our, our main thing. Well, I want to move the farm. Yeah, yeah, no, we do. And the productions. And then we need to have some more land to do that because we're not going to get all our productions and our farm where we've got the animals now are we no we're not no no we're gonna we're gonna sort of create a bit of a production village or production area so it's a bit separate from the farm 
try and make it look like you're actually going to a town or something yeah. like that to, to do things. So we even put some might even put some decoration on yeah, it. Yeah, I think we will, yeah. Right, so actually that's the liming done. Brilliant. I don't know why it said it well. Okay. Yeah. For some reason this map's texturing is interesting at best, even though you've put down we put a road in, it still thinks it's got a field underneath. But I'll do it anyway. The lime's cheap. Right. Do you need emptying or not? Uh, I'm at 67% full, so... Okay. I'll probably make the headland. Tell you what, I'll, I'll give you the mog. Yeah. I'll attach it. I'm going to then... I'll use the ATRX to do a bit of running around. I'll okay. Some, I can do some jump cuts as I travel around anyway. We'll probably do one uh, proper uh, bit of recording on the new road to see how we handle the, the curves yeah, and the bends yeah. that Max put in. And right. So, uh, I need to go feed the chickens, don't I? And then need to check on the pigs and the sheep. Okay. And then potentially at some point we need to get rid of all this. Oh, we still need to put auto load on, don't we? Definitely. Server. Definitely. If we do that, then we can move all these really annoying flower pallets. Go okay, from there. So there we are. So, are you getting full in like a headland? Then do you think? Yeah, almost a headland has filled me up. I was at like a sort of eighty, just over eighty percent. So that's not bad. So yeah, so let's get this. Uh, oh, why is that stopped there? There we go. I'm in the 8RX. Let's. Oh, I'll tell you what I need to do. I'm just going to put this on the road. I'm just going to set off uh, the cedar, okay. actually. I might as well get this sorted, haven't we? Yeah, there's some, uh, there's some bags of seed and fertiliser down at the shop, actually. Oh, is there? Mm. So if you need filled okay. up. Oh, what I'll do? I'm just going to double check to see how well this is going to course by in a minute. We've got a bag of, we've got a load of fertilizer at the farm. We've got a bag of seed as well. Okay. So I don't, I don't know how full and empty. What are we going to put in that field then, now? Come on. Uh, well, maybe should just put soybeans in just for now. It'd be a nice cash injection once they're ready. Yeah, I thought so. Mm. Fertilizer's full. Seed isn't because I can't get the trade. I can't get, can't get it in the right place. We don't. When we build the new farm, we need to put that mod in from um, Peasel. Oh yeah. We can dump yeah. stuff in that um, yeah. big bag area because yeah, it does. Idea. It is really good actually, um, right. and then you can just pull everything up to it. You can unload next to it, and you can always either um, forklift in or if they get close enough, they'll go in themselves. Okay. Oh. I'm really looking forward to getting rid of this bridge at some point. Well, that is a really good texture, actually. If it's it been. is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right. Is this going to work any better? So first waypoint, no course. Don't know what to do. Let's just... Let's clear the course on the Johnny Pot. Was that the John Deere? I thought it was. It's one of the most satisfying things to harvest, isn't it? Corn. What's that? It's kind of funny the way that yeah. the, the corn enters the header. True, yeah. No, I can. Okay. <laughs> it's a pretty yeah, it's a pretty good thing to watch actually, I must admit. Now in that factory. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Great job. Do headlands smooth generate. Okay, yeah, that actually works perfectly well. So good job. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna have an issue. I don't know what's going on with that fertilizer spreader. When I did that. So that's the 
that seeding kicked off. Oh, brilliant. Pretty certain. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, we're on soybeans. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I, just, I just had a, a sneaking suspicion when I was just about to jump into the Johnny Pop. I was like, hmm, did I set that? But yeah, that's going to be, that's going to take a while, I think, to do. Okay. Do you want to take up, yeah, I think it will. Do you want to take up, uh, take over some corn harvesting at any point? Yeah, I can do in a minute, but let me feed the chickens okay. and uh, sort some bits and bobs out. So I'll tell you what you can do when mm -hmm. you, when I'm doing the corn harvesting, do you want to put, I've got enough money, do you want to put the road extension in? Yeah, I can do. Yeah. Put, can do that. But we do do a little bit of testing off screen as well to make sure uh, what we're doing in the episode actually makes sense to people. Yeah. And to us. So, right. Uh, let's get these. It's nice to have a nice road network, though. It is. It'll make a big difference, I think. It'd be nice when we get auto drive set up as well. Yeah, we just need to be careful on. I don't know if we do two-way or one-way if we do like two single tracks on some of the stuff or whether you do a two-way road okay well I think we could probably get away with a two-way road because it's not like it's going to be that busy mm, true so chickens are getting full I'm thinking I'm taking quite a lot of yeah they're getting there do they only take 9,000 chickens? Yeah. yeah, I think they do. It's annoying. Oh well. Mm. Right, it's well. Got a rear hitch on it. I've done the headland. Ooh. Well, I've done two headland passes, so I'll just leave that there for you. Maybe just switch it off once it's emptied. Okay, well, I mean, I, I don't mind. Uh, let me have a look. I'm just going to fill up the water tanker. I mean, I suppose if you want to, you could get some grass bales out if you wanted to. Yeah, and okay. I'll just finish the. Go and do that. I'll just finish doing the water, and then I'll go back to the field with the uh, with the barley that I haven't actually got completely emptied. Okay. Right. I'll um, come over it's to you now. Then. Done. Okay. No problems. Well, I mean, I think the sheep need some more. Need a little bit more grass, don't they? Okay. Well, I'll get in the. Uh, I'll get into the forklift then and do that. I'm just going to water the sheep and water the pigs. Water the pigs. Yep, spray them down. Fresh washer, cart them. There we go. Right, I'm going to fill this back up because we need to also fill up the greenhouse, don't we? Yeah, we do. It'd probably be a good idea to move the greenhouse over here, you know, since we have the water here and the storage location. Yeah, I definitely think. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring all that over here hey eventually. Up. There's a milk. There's a milk. Wow, that fills up fast. It does, Jesus. isn't it great? <laughs> it's such wow. a good mod. That's the first time I've used that since we've put it in. That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. That's absolutely rapid. Right, I'll get another bale. Might as well leave two okay. outside. Well, what I'll do then God, look at all our eggs. Gonna... That's amazing. I know, that's a lot of eggs. But if we get them all stockpiled up, we can put them, hopefully, when we get the pasta factory and we can put them in the pasta factory, can't we? Yeah. So, right. Can I connect this up to that? Good if I was anywhere near the hitch. No. It's a shame. I don't right. think I can connect okay. up to this either. Right. Okay, well, I'll take this back to the farm then, and then I'm probably going to jump into the combine then and get the get that harvested. We've also got this sorghum to do at some point. Is that everything done with our animals? I think so, yeah. Okay. We just need to get the water into the greenhouse. Uh, greenhouse, don't we? Right, well I'll do that. I'll go and get something and do that for you. And then I think once we've done the corn we probably need to get some purchasing going on now. Yeah. And run through the overall plan, I think. There is the cedar. There he is. Look at that. He's actually doing a grand job there, Mel. Okay. He's doing all right, I think. Not bad at all. Thank goodness. Let me just go and have a proper test of my little ramp. 
Oh, you got this. Brilliant. Look at this. Got the eye. Look at this. That's so smooth. Right, let's get over. Oh, oh yeah. Here's the road. Right, well, I'm going to get this put back in the silo quickly. I think at some point what we might do is create a little T junction off down there. Oh, on them, through them trees? Yeah. Yeah, we said about that early, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, this is. This is alright, but it's a bit of a, might be a bit of a long way around for some things, so. It might be a quicker way to get yeah. to the farm. And also, it might be quite good when we turn this into a. Because we're eventually going to turn the where the farm is now into a field, I think. Yeah, I think so. Probably just a, probably just a dedicated grass field for now. For silage yeah. and, str and hay. So, silage and straw? What am I talking about? <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah, I can create straw from my grass. Okay, right. So, 8 RX is free if you want it, sir. Okay. Back in its garage. I know how much you uh, like things parked away. It's not a very big field, this, is it? No, it's not, no. Um, I'm not sure what to do about that. Whether we join it up or not, it's... I mean, we were talking about, obviously, to the other side, to the right hand, to that other field, to the right hand side. Cut, cut a load more trees back, can't we? And yeah. like, belly it out. Because I still think that's a good idea. It's a bit of wasted land there, and it's right on the cliff top as well. It is. So, this harvester eats this. It's absolutely um, amazing, isn't it? How quick it goes through that. Yeah. Sure for me. I mean, we maybe need to look for a bigger uh, head of uh, cereal crops. Might need to go for a mod one though, can't we? Because I think the jump from what we've got now is like 18 meter. Oh, okay. That's probably too big for this, I think. You could try the McDonald header, the um, that one that got released. Yeah. I think it was last week. See how big that is, and see if it will handle it. Because that would be kind of correct, because you get a lot of McDonald headers on case. Right. You okay. get them on case New Holland. Most of them are really, don't you? Because they all they all got adapters on. So you may as well. We've got, we've got two soybean fields in this season, haven't we? This end. Yes, we have, yeah. The that's farm. true. Okay. Right, so that's used a whole barrel of water, so... I don't think I'll... I won't refill it with another one, because it does use it really no, slowly. No, I think that's enough. It's yeah. just... Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, mate, I've probably got this plus... I've probably only got two more... I've probably only got two more runs on this. Right, OK. We'll put it this way, because I've... I'm, I'm coming down this this uh, this run now. And it's probably because it bellies out more, doesn't it? Yeah. It probably is two, but when you get to the end of it, because it goes narrow, there's only probably like half a one. So this is not going to take any longer than about another three or four minutes, I don't think. Oh well, I'll be back with this trailer, so we can have a look at buying some more well, land. I think so. Got a road in. See how the seed is doing. Seems to be doing an okay job. That's going to be a big field, that is. It really is. I mean, good. It's going to be a healthy cash injection, though, a couple of months in a, in a row, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Get a bit, a bit of a bump of soybean crop on both fields. That'll be that'll set us up to start building our production environment, I think. Yeah, definitely. Because then we can really kick in moving stuff forward, which would be nice. Because our plan, I think, just to let everybody know, is. I think we've talked about this, so our plan is to carry on running this series until FS25 comes out. Yeah, that's right. Um, so this will be no November-ish time, we're guessing. I'm going to say November-ish time. So well, we're about the 12th, FS25 maybe? Will... Maybe, I'm maybe. Not, not confirming nor denying that theory yeah. there, Mal. Um, so, but one thing we are going to do is uh, um, we are probably going, as soon as it is released, we'll both have it pre-ordered, and as soon as we can, I think we just discussed and decided we'll probably go and do a live stream. Yeah. Pretty much for a, for many many hours on the first day, um, to see how how we get on. We might have a break in between, then probably kick it off again at night when more people are around again. Yeah, definitely. And then we'll yeah. probably replace this series with like a, a let's play learn series. I think on twenty five with yeah. both of us again. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I mean, especially if there's some new crop types. Maybe, if that happens. I mean, 
Yeah, I mean, I think you wouldn't you wouldn't start yourself on hard mode, though, would you? You go oh, on no. easy. Yeah, we just go on easy and just or get you used go to on, it. Or you go on medium, yeah, where you can be, have a million and a half quid. Well, that's if they carry on. But if they had a million and a half quid with two people on a farm, then at least you've got... You're not grinding your way through the, the no. new game, are you? No, exactly. You kind of just get into, get into grips with it, and then you can set yourself a challenge later. So, I think that's probably the best way to do it. I agree. Uh, but that's that's kind of our our plans moving forward. I think in Ditmount, really. Yeah. And obviously, don't forget that Mount's running his No Man's Land live stream series again. Yeah, I'm trying to fit those in when I can around my shift. So um, obviously, if you uh, haven't haven't watched them yet, um, if I get chance, I might drop into a couple. But um, usually, when Mount does it, I'm at work. But uh, hopefully, I can. But I mean, I think it is is it open, Mount? Yeah, people? it's an open server, so. Um... As long as you're not a dick, I don't really mind. But... <laughs> way to put it, Mount. That's the way, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. We did the first open server the, the other last week, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I think that was the first open one. Yeah, it went it went all right. Yeah, so. I th yeah, it, it, it went all right. Yeah. I watched the first uh, 15, 20 minutes, and I got pulled into a couple of meetings. So. Yeah, I mean, now that right. I've got decent internet, it makes it so much easier. So. I did. I've been telling you for ages to get fiber yeah, when you could. You have. It is, yeah. The, the difference is miraculous, isn't it? Oh, it's just. I mean, I remember the days I had when I had twenty-eight k dial-up. I hope you get that last car stock. But yep. <clears throat> it was when I lived at my parents, and it was in a village, and it was that old. We were actually on like a shared line. So oh. I couldn't get broadband when broadband came out. Nice. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, and That's I went. I went from twenty eight k to fifty six k to yeah. like the one meg broadband connection in like it was two, like, in two weeks, and it was just the, the difference between twenty eight k and fifty six k was just like web pages just opened up. <laughs> and then the difference between fifty six k and a one meg was oh, like, my goodness, well, what actually, is this? For, for web browsing, it didn't really make that much difference. I didn't think but that for was downloading. oh yeah, for downloading it was amazing. Yeah. It's great. I remember. I think I started at, I started at fifty six, right? K, and then we went. Uh, then a friend of mine had had dual ISDN. Okay. His dad was absolutely minted. He was a millionaire, so he had he had he got his son dual ISDN in. So that was two fifty six. Wow. And that was that was rapid. That was like in nineteen ninety nine two thousand. And that was like that was when like, Kazar and Napster were real big things and it was absolutely awesome for downloading music at that point wow. tell you and then um we ended up getting up to about one and a half meg at home eventually and that was yeah that was also pretty revolutionary i tell you mm -hmm. right so we've got go on there? 29 and a half thousand liters of corn which isn't too bad i don't think that does not snap does it no it doesn't I wasn't sure if I hadn't just really got it in perf in the absolute perfect right place, but very much doubt I have. Well, that doesn't look right. It hasn't fallen off, but that is not snapped. That is definitely not snapped. I'll get it. I tell you what, let's try that again before I go over this bridge. Uh, right. So we need to find somewhere to park this header, don't we? Yes. Um, that's yeah. We're gonna have a bit of a problem here. Um, Double check. That is right though, isn't it? Yeah. It's that way round. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Pin. I'm gonna I'm gonna demote the bale stacker. That can live outside. Okay. And then I'll move the baler over, and we can stick it next to the. Um, the normal header. Mm. Okay. Not sure. What's a, what's a normal header called? Has he got a name? No, it's just a header, I think. Right. You just call a header a header, and then obviously the corn header and the, and the, and the sunflower header is just called a sunflower or corn header, I think. Really, mm -hmm. not sure. Yeah. But I've never really, I've never worked on a farm or spoke to a farmer in the UK that does a lot of maize or corn, if that makes sense. There you go. So they just usually have. 
one header. If oh, it, if she is. If anyone knows, then um, <laughs> drop it in the comments. What is yeah, that? What's that sort of header called? Has it got a name, or is it just a header? So you're just going to reverse that in there next to that header, then? No, I'm going to give it to you because that's going to go completely and utterly badly wrong, isn't it? I mean, that's just that's just horrific already. Yeah. Chuffing it. Right, let's put the combine away. All right, you just leave it there. I'll try and jimmy it in with this. We got a front and back hitch on that. Yeah. So. It certainly makes it easy right, if you can okay. if you can push it in with the front hitch. Oh, okay. So what's that got left? I haven't got a front. Holy moly! I haven't got a front That's hitch ridiculous. on the Unimog. Haven't we? No, oh, we've got front hydraulics though. Yeah. Right. We've got front lift arms, haven't we? Yeah, we have. There's no hitch though. Oh, okay. That's annoying. Yeah. It's all right. I can use the hitch or something. Uh, right, okay, so the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, have you seen where uh, the... Is you looking at where the cedar's doing the up and down rolls? Yeah. Doing the shop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Didn't really set that... Didn't really set that right, did I? Well... Oh, my God, the HR hasn't got a front hitch either. I think the only thing we've got is the, is the Vulture. Right, I'll have to do this the hard oh. way. Oh. oh, actually, well, maybe the maybe the X eight R X would have, but I know the Ford definitely doesn't. They've got weights on it. No, the Archer's just got lift arms, isn't it? Yeah. And a PTO it hasn't got a hitch hitch. Yeah. That's looking fun. Doesn't really turn that fast, my my Archer. Oh, come on! Oh, that looks horrendous. It is. It's not great. The steering lock isn't good enough to do this with. Oh, right, I'm going to get the... <laughs> Come on, turn, on the, turn. On the Ford. Enjoy. I will. Probably do this as a time lapse. You might need to by the looks of that. It'll be a 40 minute time lapse as well. <laughs> what, a times 3.75 or <laughs> yeah. 4, isn't it? Whatever you set yours to. Well, at least we've got everything moving again. Oh, we need an open shed now, that's what we need. Yeah, I don't really know why the seed has been done it that way. It hasn't really helped, has it? No. Hmm. Okay. Set that up there. I'm not going to set it going yet. I don't really know what that's doing. Whatever it's doing, it isn't good, I don't think. World's slowest folding cedar, I think. Yeah, there we go. Fair neck. Right, it's in. <laughs> you done it? Yeah. Okay. Right, so what we're doing now, we're going to go and buy some fields. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to... I'm going to go and get the rolls over, so we've got everything yeah. set up on the field to okay. do it off camera, and then we'll both probably go into the same view. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, do you want me to bring the weeder as well with something? I've done it. Oh. While you were faffing, you said. While I was faffing. Messing about. I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd sort it out. So we've got all the equipment over at the at the field now, ready to go, ready for the. Yeah. Well, I'm, we need to probably figure out the best way of doing that field from now on with course play, don't we? Yeah. I mean, it's it's not at its final um, stage, is it? It's going to get extended again, so... Yes, that's true. At so. some point, right. it won't matter. Let's, gonna, let's have a bit of exercise, shall we? I'll just run across the field. <laughs> run, Malcolm, okay. run! Remember, remember, when, remember when this dip was a problem to us? We were always going to smooth out that dip. Yeah, well, we just... Yeah, I don't know. This this series has gone a bit mad, really, isn't it? it has, episode yeah. 41, 46 now, aren't we? It is 46, yeah. be a big field. Okay. Right, so... I'm going to get into the right mode. Yeah. You do too. Okay. Come them out. You buying one, I'll buy the other. Okay, so I'll buy this one. I'll buy this one. 
and now we have no money left. <gasps> 33,000. Oh, 33 grand. Yeah, that's all right. So, so, yeah, so we've got to put in a road from the track down the bottom there, aren't we, up here? Yeah. And the idea will yeah, be and... is there'll just be a road going straight up here and th we'll make a cut in through this group of trees here. Yep. And then that'll be our... And then the other side of there, sort of, I'm just going into my map, all this sort of area here is where we're going to put our productions. Mainly yeah, because the actual, uh, how do you look at it? The yield potential is, it's down like 8% from from sort of 100%, I should say. So, um, yeah, it's not, it's it's not, not great. It's not 100 and something percent, no, is it? It's not greatly fertile land. So we thought we'd just build on it. Um, and then it might extend down here as well. So that's basically our plan. And this field here yeah, will I mean, get extended think... all the way around up to the road, around this like tree headland. Um, yes, yeah, so it'll be a huge field. About this one over here. Yeah. This has got our. What is it? Where is it? Uh, there, it's got a sorghum in that needs to be done next time. So we'll do oh. this one, and then we can extend this, can't we? All right. So I was actually talking about the the one that we're planting soybeans. That's going to run all the way around. Oh. We'll have we'll have a road yes. up here. So that one will get extended all the way. We actually need to buy this plot here because this group of trees is in it. Basically, that's the uh, boundary for that plot. So we're going to have to buy that one anyway. It would. Um, yeah, and I think the, this field here, um, I'm looking at the okay. second sorghum field, the one that's not ready to harvest. We're going to extend that oh, up, yeah. up through this forest here. There's like some rocks here, so we'll extend that out, make that a little bit bigger. Probably eventually yep. take these trees out at the bottom of it and make it all the way up to the boundary. And then this field here so we'll will, have some... will come all the way across. So we'll have some big so fields. We've got big... Yeah, we've got some big plans. Uh, yep. I think this one, when it's fully extended, I think the next thing we'll probably purchase is that plot of land, you know, at 20... at 22. So we can at least yeah. bring this field here that we've got the seeding going on yeah. through that silly patch and then it comes out nicely and then comes round yeah that's right and then we, then we know that field's finally done and then we can then concentrate on well next episode it's probably going to be well, sorghum harvest plus extending i think won't don't you yeah so we've got we've got this this one's ready now this one will be ready in the next episode i think let's just have a quick check uh, yeah, yeah four or four now, so it'll be ready to harvest next one. So we'll just do a big sorghum harvest, and then we'll uh, look at putting in some new roads and things like that. Yeah, sounds good. Well, hopefully everybody has enjoyed this episode. I know we haven't really actually done any time lapses on this one, but we thought we'd do a bit of chatting and planning and let everybody know what our thoughts are moving the series forward, because I think yeah. we're probably going to hit over the 100 episodes, aren't we, on this one, if we're going to carry on till November-ish time. Yeah, I mean, we're sort of six, so, five months away, so... Um, eight episodes. Of... Yeah, we might get to it. Maybe even I do a live. Be. Might even do a live one as well at some point. Yeah, we we we, we are planning to probably do a couple of lives, maybe. So, mm -hmm. but hopefully everybody has enjoyed this episode. If you have, remember to watch it on both channels, like it on both channels, and if you're new, please subscribe. Thank you very much for joining us, and we hope you join us again soon. Many thanks. See you later.